Which puppy would you take home and why? So what you see here is two adorable pups. One that is basically white like a polar bear. And Ron, that's brown like a grizzly bear. And, of course, on the right side is me and my Sabrina Husky Elijah, whom look, I guess you could say, mm, he, he could be like a reincarnation of a Swedish man. The reason why I say that, because Swedes basically have blonde hair and they're supposed to be really tall and basically look older, I suppose. But <laughs> for anyone that's Swedish, I'm not sure if I actually got that correct, but... I just thought after the previous video that I talked about that d d disturbing yet disgusting, well, he is disgusting, um, Buddhist monk or the Dalai, Dalai Lama, I thought I could actually just share something a little bit more joyful as I basically have my chow mein chicken noodles that are cooling up in the microwave and watching Futurama in the background. I just have the TV on mute so that I won't be distracted. It's supposed to be the, the, the Slurring Factory episode, a really good episode, by the way. So, for me personally, since I did talk about, like, Buddhist morals, right? The thing is that, for me, I actually love dogs more than any animal. I don't know why. I might as well just share this. And, yes, I'm a loner. I don't have any friends whatsoever. Acquaintances don't count. So, I kind of consider myself... I'm not just basically saying I'm a furry or anything. But if I, if I was a dog, I feel like I am one. The reason why I say that is because... I just have such a deep connection with dogs slash pups, right? Because of how they're always alone. Um, they are frightened of people. They want to be taken care of or want to be loved. And they basically are harmless unless you harm them, right? Depending on the type of breed. And they just basically want to live like any other living, breathing being. If that actually makes sense, right? So for me personally... If I have no option, right? Well, first of all, I would choose both because I love dogs. However, though, if I can only choose one, it would have to be the brown one. I don't know why. Maybe because I like its nose. It's really cute. And I don't know. Maybe because I do like darker dogs, I think. Elijah was an exception because my mo my mother's boyfriend basically found him when um, I think they went. Or, oh, man, I forgot what happened when we went to, like, the pharmacy, I think. Or we're driving past there and we saw a random submarine husky roaming around the sidewalk. I'm surprised that we actually decided to pick him up. Uh, maybe I wasn't with them, I think, but... <sighs> Sorry, I'm going to get a little bit emotional just talking about Elijah because... Let's just say that, one, he basically did got paralyzed when my mother... My mother's boyfriend took him to um, a park... And basically, he must have ran too fast and he sprained his leg and we thought that we had to put him down. He still lived after he was paralyzed and he was still able to walk again for some odd reason. Kind of like as though it's someone that broke their leg, right? And then they're able to walk again somehow. And basically, he didn't felt any pain when he had tumor growing in his abdomen when we actually had to take him to the darn vet. And sorry, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop talking. Okay, um, I do apologize, I'm rambling a little bit. That's why I use my profile picture, well, not my YouTube profile, but my thumbnails as my, I guess you could say pup mark, right? You know, trademark, but, okay, dog mark, right? Instead of trademark, because, well, I love or miss Elijah to this day. Sucks I didn't catch his fur, but... You know, like, pieces of it. Maybe put, like, in a little small treasure chest thing. But, uh, I apologize. But, yeah, basically for me, if I had no option, if I could only choose one pup, it would be the brown one because I love darker dogs. I don't know why. Maybe because, you know, it's not a race thing. That'd be really dumb if it is. But I guess seeing if it will come out that way. Let's just say that these are the same breed, right? I mean, clearly they are. It's just that one is darker than the other, right? Does that make them less lovable? No. It's just like us human beings. We're born with different um, skin pigments, but we're all human. We come in different shapes and sizes, right? And, you know, we all should be treated equally, even though that's humanly impossible. But, you know, just like for, for Breeze, let's just say that I'm really short, right? I'll be considered a chihuahua. 
compared to like my older brother and twenty of whom would be like like do you know how can you explain this? Probably pit bull size. Does that make him less lovable of a human person? Right? It does not. Okay? They're basically it'd be like him being less lovable because people hate pit bulls because they're always aggressive. Let's just say that tall people are aggressive. A handful can be, just like short people are average, right? Well, let's just say that average and tall people are seen as more aggressive. That doesn't define them as a human being, right? I, I can't explain it. I, I don't want to heck up rambling here, but what I'm just trying to say is that since I found this on Twitter, I just had to make a video about this as my, my food cools off because pups or dogs are my favorite animal. And I don't know. It just... You know, uh, it's such a top about the sooner. I just it makes me wonder, especially after I've seen videos on Reddit of people or these grown ass adults or grown gross adults that would abandon their dogs in the middle of the road. It sickens me. Like if you look it up like on a total piece of shit, there's like a woman in Brazil that abandoned her three legged dog. I'm thinking, you know what? That like there it should be a crime if you it's like abandoning a child, right? You basically she should probably get like maybe like a fifteen year prison sentence or something like that. I don't know. Right? Maybe ten years. Okay, that'd be more than enough. Okay, maybe that's two I don't know. Okay, uh, I I I'd say ten years would be more than enough. I mean unless she really abused it, then we could take it down to five. But I think it would be ten ten years. Because the dog has a disability. You know, it's missing a leg and who knows? Someone will probably decide to run it over, shoot it. Who knows? Right? Abuse it. That's why there's always, like, a lot of stray, um, well, a handful of, of stray animals of where we live. And it, it just sickens me that people don't take care of their pets. You know, I, I don't understand it. I just don't. And for me, personally, I don't know. Like, whenever I see, like, a dog commercial, I get emotional for some reason. I don't know why. I just do. You know, I'm so isolated, right? My butter's not work, by the way, if you're curious. And it's 12.15. Um, if I could screenshot it, I, 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 I don't feel comfortable just sharing it. But there we go. Sorry. I don't know. I like doing um, You know, I don't know. You know, I actually kind of think of it. Let me um, go to that Twitter page. But it just, you know, the one that is... Have a phobia of dogs. If you, if you got bitten by them or if they mistreat you, I definitely understand. It's similar to someone that might be homophobic. If you had a bad experience with someone that's gay that may have basically sexually assaulted you, you have every right to be upset to that person. But I just want you to be aware that there are people that, you know, won't treat you that way. Like me, for example. Well, I'm ace, but, you know, that's a given example, right? It's just like that. And I don't know. I just get really emotional, you know, just seeing that dogs, you know, just get mistreated by other human beings. And, I don't know, honestly, if I could adopt both, so I, I'm, I'd be too late to, to actually show you the um, image, I mean, you know, the, the, the screenshot, um, sound effect, plus I can't click on it, but um, I don't want to stop the audio. The thing is, for me personally, both pups are lovable. Right, I mean, this picture. If you're like out walking to the to the park, and it may be during um not, not winter. I'm sure they probably don't get too cold because they got heavy fur. But let's just say, do um a hot Phoenix summer, right? And they're basically have their their tongues open because they are dehydrated. They need shade and they need a home to actually just stay alive and be safe. Right? You know, I don't know. Like, for me, personally, I would I want to adopt both. They're adorable pups. Right? I mean, one thing that I want to share, how to be the brown one, once again, if I have no option, just because I like darker colored dogs. I don't, I don't, you know, it doesn't matter, but it's like a preference. Right? It's like if you're basically dating someone that may be white. Nothing wrong with that. Or if they are Southeast Asian. Or Indian, right? Nothing wrong with that, right? As long as you don't mistreat that person. A.K.A. dog. For me personally, growing up, 
I would always ride on one of my one of my dogs, um, Babs, which is our German Shepherd Dalmatian mix. She was full black, right? She didn't have any spots or anything. And I think this is back when I was like 10 or 11. I'm not kidding. Because that was pretty small. I still am. And I would always ride on her because, I don't know, I love her so much that I would ride on her like a horse. It's You gotta say, like, like at least, like, like um, kids in one night, well, older kids that age, maybe? Okay, younger, right? We probably have a lot of imagination. I mean, how even for an adult my age, I still have a lot of imagination, but I would always would do that with, with my dog. And also, this may be gross, but I would... Nipple, not I, I think that's the word. I, that sounds disturbing. Um, like not like biting on her teeth, but like, like with, with your lips, right? Kind of like if you're you have no teeth, but like be like, oh, rah, 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 rah. you know, I would always do that to my dog's noses. I don't know why it's this with my autistic brain. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. It was just really cute because of how soft it looks and how it looked like like little rocks. Or pebbles because of the textures in her in her nose. It's just so cute. I just want to like ah bite off of it. I know that's weird. Not like you know hurting them, but just showing like oh, I love you so much. I just want to do my your 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 nose, right? And that's why for me on my channel, um, I did make like a little playlist of like seeing a lot of dog owners out here, and I would get so fascinated to seeing that they were walk their dogs and. I don't know. It just reminds me of the pups that we have that is at my mother's, right? I still miss them. I've not seen them in months. And, you know, they got, like, a couple incidents. I got a little bit frustrated because one of them, I think it was like Ebony. I, no, I think it was because um, she basically chewed up my um, one of my notebooks with all my language, language studies in it from Duolingo. I got so upset. I just raise my brace at them because that's their punishment but I still love them to death because you know they had to be trained right and of course you had to show some I guess you know it's a term um basically difficult love like you gotta be a little harsh but you still love them and my mother she basically taught me this because well the mother Bella she went away I'm surprised she even returned back to us we were upset because we thought that she was going to get run over and get killed. Because out here, once in the yellow moon, I would see Roadkill. kill. Like, that could have been her. And bless our lucky charms that she came back home safe. And next thing you know, like, a couple of months later, we noticed that she was pregnant. Because, well, I guess she want to have a quick hookup with another Chihuahua. I, I actually, I don't know what their food breeds are. They're mostly Chihuahua, of course. But, you know, she gave birth to three healthy pups. And... I miss my pup. So. <sighs> you know, that's why I watched this other anime. And yes, I did have a crush on Denji, the main character, right? From Chainsaw Man. That's the name of it. Um, basically, the reason why I like that anime a lot is because... He had no one else to rely on but um, Pochita. It sounds like a Spanish name, right? Which is supposed to be this chainsaw dog. Devil dog, if that makes sense. Like he'd be friendly with that lives in his heart. I just love the anime because it kind of reminds me of my pups in a way. Well, let alone Elijah, right? It just sucks that I didn't have like piece of his fur just to like keep in a lock or something. You know, like his spirit would be in with me, I suppose. I don't know. I, I just wanted to share this because dogs are the most, for me, okay, every human being is different. But from my point of view, POV, um, dogs are more important than any animal. Okay, cats, well, I do like cats, but not as much as dogs, right? And I don't know, I just thought I could actually run, run on this because I, I love dogs. I mean, I grew up... Just only having, well, we did have pet fish, but the majority we grew up with dogs since I was, I think, five when we actually had, ba was it Babs? Yeah, our very first dog, and then we had Persia, 
our first Chihuahua, and then Fave, our first Pit Bull, and then our Sabrina Husky Elijah that lived with us for, I think, six years? I lost count. And then now we actually have the fur pups that I basically have in my order video. So, I miss them all. I really do. Especially Elijah. So, I don't know. I just thought I could actually just share this to sister something more joyful. And once again, for anyone that have viewed my videos, I hope you viewed it all the way. If not, that's fine. I mean, it'd be great if you have. Maybe because I hate seeing it. So, it'll probably help my channel get noticed more so that my topics may make a difference and, you know, do more of these. If you could choose... Okay, both is also deception. But if you only have one choice, which pup would you choose out of, of this cardboard box to take home with you to adopt? Would it be the polar one? Or, the, or basically my... Um, option. The grizzly one. You know why you know why I say that? Because well, gri grizzly. Okay, excuse me. I'll stop rambling.